The 3CX mobile, desktop, and web applications are feature-rich endpoints which allow users to connect from anywhere in the world to 3CX. In this short video, I will show you how to provision each type of these applications. To install the desktop applications, we will need Windows 10. For the mobile applications, we will need either an Android operating system from version 7 and above, or iOS from version 13 and above. For the web applications, all we need is a browser, whether that is Chrome, Edge, or Firefox. So let's go and provision our applications now. When a new user is added to 3CX, a welcome email is sent to the email address that you define. From here you will find a lot of information about provisioning the applications for each user. On the screen you can see the QR code that will be used to provision the mobile applications. Further down in the welcome email, you can see the link for the web client login, along with the username and password. If you do implement SSO with Google or Microsoft, you will be able to use this to also log in to your web client. We have a separate video for that. And finally, we have links on where to download the 3CX applications for the mobile and desktop. The first and easiest will be the web client login. All we need to do is basically uh, click on the link and use our credentials to log in. And we can see that our operator has logged in. From this point on, I can go and install the new 3CX desktop application as well. All I need to do is click on the Windows icon over here, click on Install, Once it downloads, I can just run the application. And when it is installed, click on provision. And now this independent desktop application can be run independently of the web client. You don't need to have the web client up and running to use this. The 3CX app for Windows can also be downloaded from the welcome email from the link provided. Installation is very simple. And once it is installed, just launch it. Our application will prompt us for a configuration file. We can find that as an attachment in the welcome email. All I need to do is download that configuration file and run it. That will provision the application, and we can see that the operate extension is also configured on this device as well. And finally, to install our 3CX application on a smartphone, I will be using an Android system. All I need to do is go to the Play Store, search for 3CX, install, and open. I need to agree to the terms in the license agreement, swipe, and scan QR code. You need to give the necessary permissions, and once you give the necessary permissions, all you need to do is point and shoot to the QR code. And the application provisions. It congratulates you and urges you to basically call the Echo service to test the audio configuration. Hello? Hello, test, test. One, one, two, three. three. Perfect. We now have fully provisioned our application. Thank you for watching another 3CX video guide. Please make sure to subscribe to our channel and enable notifications to receive all the latest 3CX updates.